How's everybody doing out there today? That's seem like that. What's going on? Hmm, cable working. Get my cable in, so how? They're out there working and they're going in and out, so I got my mask on because they're going in and out of the house trying to fix my cable on this windy, windy day. Cold. Feels good out here. If that wind's blowing around, it's kicking in like bad. Cold front's moving in. Guess we're going to get some, say we're going to get some snow tomorrow, tomorrow late afternoon. So hopefully the kids will be home from school before it gets real bad, you know what I mean? So, yeah. So, I lost my brother's wife on New Year's Day. They had COVID and they didn't want to take care of their low oxygen level. And she's like 65 years old and she passed away. She said she couldn't breathe. My, they were diddle down around to get her to the hospital and she passed out and, and they couldn't get her back to life. So she died and they, you know, they had the Omicron. I mean, I don't know if it's Omicron. Max, I, my brother was in the hospital for a few days. And he was on five liters of oxygen. He had a bad, uh, he had like a bronchitis, pneumonia, or whatever. They gave him antibiotics, IVs. They, his fever is 104 and they, they finally got his fever down. They gave him IV fluids. He was dehydrated. And my sister told me about a week and a half ago, they called the ambulance because they weren't feeling good and they checked their oxygen levels. The ambulance did, paramedics. And when they got to the house, hers was at 70 and his was at 90. And they told her she needed to go to the hospital or that she refused to go to the hospital. What I think happened, her oxygen level got so low, she died. I mean, she said she couldn't breathe. And uh, people are not taking that Omicron seriously. But I talked to my brother's doctor. He's up in Dayton, Ohio. I called Michael week ago. And because uh, he said I'm, a, he goes I'm leaving the hospital from regardless if I'm discharged or not. He said I'm going back to work. I said they're not going to let you go back to work. I said that's how that stuff's spreading. And I was right. He said he go back to work ten days, so or five days, ten days, or whatever it is. So yeah, he refused to he refused to stay at the hospital. So and I kept on telling him get the pulse meters, get the pulse meters, and they wouldn't do it. You know what I mean? People ain't just taking this seriously. I asked a doctor at the hospital, I said, I said, uh, how you know it's Omicron? He's like, well, we don't know it's Omicron. We're assuming it's Omicron. I said, so what's that mean? I said, I said, how they, all them people go in the hospital, what are you tagging them as? He said, uh, I said, what are you putting them? He said, they put everybody goes in the hospital is Omicron. So that's what the deal is. That wind out here is kicking butt. So basically, everybody at the hospital, they're tagging them. If you come in with a fever, headache, cold chills, or whatever, low oxygen, they're, they're just labeled as Omicron, Omicron, Omicron. And that's why you're saying all these hospitals are slammed and bombarded with uh, Omicron patients. So, yeah. And, uh, God, 55 mile hour wind gusts is blowing in my face. Yeah, God, that's that cold front moving. It's supposed to get real cold. They said next week it's supposed to get down like five degrees or something. Yeah. Ooh, it's cold out here. Yeah, my kids went back to school this week, and they said yesterday all the teachers were out with Omicron. So all the teachers are sick, and they're, and they're with Omicron, and they got a quarantine, and they're thin, especially on substitute teachers. They don't hardly have anybody. And I heard other states, all the colleges around Kentucky and Ohio, they're, they're doing virtual now. Not the schools. The school over here told me it'd be, cold, be a cold day in hell if they go back to virtual learning. They said that was a complete disaster. They said they'll never go back to that. They said we're just going to have to deal with the virus. So basically, they're putting people's health over that. Not doing virtual. They're putting money over health, I should say. Or whatever. It's just crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a video I've seen this morning saying that uh, the fully vaccinated and boosted people are sitting and they're in the hospital. So, yeah. They're saying that's their best defense, but still, it's still some stuff working in some ways. I mean, I don't know. You know, my friend tells me that you have to be, you, the people who get it and die are already sick. That's what he's telling me. He keeps on telling me that. They're already sick. They're already sick. So I have no clue. You know what I mean? So how's everybody doing out there? Do you guys have a good new year? You guys stay safe out there? Let me know in the comments down below. Hit that like and subscribe. I think I'm up to 507 subscribers now. I appreciate that. It's been a, it's been a, it's been a, been a pleasure. Yeah, they're out here working on my cable. There's two guys out there. I made them put a mask on because I don't want to get sick again. I done had the antibody infusion done back in September. 
because I have an underlying condition. I have multiple sclerosis with my, and my immune system is very weak, okay? Very weak immune system. I'm out here sniffling now because it's cold out here. Whew, that wind out here is cold. Wow. Woo, it's cold out here. Yeah, it's, th it's 40 degrees, but it sure don't feel like it because that wind out here is like, I'm telling you, it's cold. My, my hands are freezing out here on this Wednesday. Woo, man, it's cold out here. But yeah, you guys have a good day now. Let me know. Let me know how you guys doing out there. So, right here, I said my brother, he was okay. He got out of the hospital, but, uh, you know, he... They were going to discharge him, but he said, I'm, he, he said that they're going to keep him for a few days, and he was only there for three days, and he said, I'm leaving anyway. So then his wife died. My, blown, my phone was blown up New Year's Day. I'm going to have sleep because I didn't get my sleep that day, or that, you know, on the 1st, because she died at 12.30 a.m. New Year's Day. So they said the uh, cops showed up first about five or so minutes later the ambulance showed up they were working on they was working on his wife on the bed to get her back to life for about 40 minutes and they gave up they said that was it they can't bring they said blood was in her lungs so again she refused to get her oxygen treated and that's the problem it just got so low where she just boom that was it it's a silent killer pulse meters they sell them at amazon walmart cbs walgreens Yep, they got them. They're anywhere from ten to thirty to forty dollars. Get you a couple of them. Buy you some AAA batteries. They take AAA batteries. But stock up on them because some things eat batteries. Buy alkaline. I, I Energizer Max batteries work best. So better than Duracell, believe it or not, because I had all kinds of batteries. And I found out the Energizer Max works better on them things because the batteries they come with they don't last but a few days. They're just cheap alkaline batteries that don't, they just don't last. Energizer Max. Yeah, so get my cable up there today. Something's acting goofy on the cable, but I figure I'd get out here and do a quick video because you guys haven't, you know, haven't seen me do a video for a while, but yeah, I appreciate it, okay? You guys have a lovely day. Stay safe out there because Omicron is like, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what to say. I mean, I get so confused about this, you know what I mean? And my doctor is going to do a video visit tomorrow, the nurse, the nurse that comes here. But, you know, she says I only need blood work done once a year. But I had to go, I told her I had to go elsewhere. It's like, who's telling you? I said, my provider's telling me that, the nurse that comes to my house. I had to, get, I had to go elsewhere to get my medicines refilled and get my blood work done because it's been almost nine months. It's crazy, isn't it? Yep. That's what happens. I mean, it's just been flat out crazy. Yep. But yeah, you guys have a lovely day. I'm getting off here because it's cold out here. It's windy out here. It feels like a blizzard wind out here. It's supposed to be like 40 degrees, but with that wind blowing, it's making it feel like it's 20 or so. It's cold out here, I'm telling you. <laughs> you guys have a lovely day, okay? Hit that like and subscribe button. I appreciate it very much. Thank you.